Hey everybody, I'm the Critical Redux, and welcome to Scary Stories Untold. So this game's supposed to be kind of, uh, messed up. I'm trying to come back to it all, you know, making videos again and all this stuff, so... I figure, you know, what horror game should I go into? <laughs> and I've had this one, I got it for free on the Epic Store for a while. And horror games aren't really my thing. I, I scare too easily. I'm sure I'll cry during this. Um... But yeah! So, as this works, it should probably be a four episode series. Um, depends really how long this episode is. <clears throat> I'm absolutely mortified. You may need to look beyond this scene to prog- I know we were juggling turtles. Something's gonna scare me, isn't it? <laughs> Stories untold. By Omar Khan. John McKellen. Yeah, that is it. Oh, an interactive horror adventure! You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Glove box. The glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open the glove box. <clears throat> Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. The note is from your dad and reads, Hide, son. I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the, around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. <coughs> okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home, park the car, it's dark with the dog in the box. It's good to be back. What? Just... Oh, I see. Okay. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Use the front door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, and you can't see anything. 
You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Squinch. A click and nothing. There's no power. That note should say how to restore it. Leave. You step outside the front door. stretches around the side of the house. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. You switch the generator on and it whiffs to light. The house is still dark. switch you flick the switch lights come on the hallway is not brightly lit there is access to the kitchen and living room here as well as a set of stairs going up kitchen enter kitchen you walk into the kitchen the kitchen is tidy and well kept there is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Go hallway. You go back to the hallway. Hallway is now brightly lit. Go living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. <coughs> Sit. Relax. Okay. Alright, well, that's all that is. Go back out to the hallway. Uh. There we go. Uh, you go back out to the hallway. You step inside the bathroom. Oh, God, everything fucks up happens in bathrooms. Okay. You step onto the landing. This is like creepy though, honestly. Like I feel like it's just gonna cut to like a jump scare and just scare the living shit out of me. That's kinda creepy. Go, sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. Untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. The 
the stairwell landing, there's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Okay. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Oh, Dad has found your old computer. A future 128K plus 2. It's preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. <sighs> your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a future computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, you start to plug in various cables. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Let's go. You put the cassette in the computer. Oh, God, it's a cassette. It's a cassette. I hate you. I hate everything about you. I Check the glove box. I want to read the note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 the car, get out, the car. Um. Get out of the car! You force the warp door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. <laughs> okay. Uh, shoot self. <laughs> uh, turn and run. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out, homie. Homie. <laughs> I <laughs> don't want to do this, man. All right. Go yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and the weed crawls up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There is an old generator next to you. Fire up generator. Generator. Look around. Okay, I can't type. Gen or eight tor. You are standing next to the generator. Oh, that's that's pleasant. That's a pleasant thing to see. <sighs> there isn't much feel, but the generator starts up. Why would I enter this place? Why would I enter this place? There is no love here. I love that line. Uh, open door. Use key. 
You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Ugh. Open door. Pitch black beers. This is our punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands and you feel compelled to read it over and over and over and over and over. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get Anyway. Fuck it. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. I'm right there with you, homie. Behind the door, phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Eyes have been scored out on all. Okay, then that's normal. Go, sister, it's wrong. <sighs> Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. It's always fun when the clocks read 9999. open. Same, but different.
Here we go. are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on, the clock reads 9, 9, 9, 9. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Let's read the note. Let's see. See if the note says anything. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Are pathetic. It's all your fault. Say it. Oh, please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. Never! It's all my fault. You're a bastard. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I yeeted away from my computer. I yeeted so far. Alright, uh... So I guess that was the first story, A House Abandoned. That was fun, actually. Like... It wasn't like the type of game I'd obviously normally play because it wasn't like interactive. It was just like a, I never thought about that. Wow, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And... Oh, and don't forget to like the video and punch my bell. But uh, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. We'll be continuing this every Friday. The next one will be the lab conduct. Thank you so much. Signing off.